I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Do you owe your pastor your very life? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, ring the bell for notifications, subscribe to our YouTube channel, get the app, Higher Things. It's available on Google iTunes, Amazon, and Roku and Roku, 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 and Apple TV, and donate right there. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things that youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Today's Bible study takes us to Philemon 19 and 20. I, Paul, write this with my own hand, I will repay it. To say nothing, not to say that you owe me your very self. Yes, brothers. Uh, yes, brother. I want some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. I want some to have some benefit from you. So usually... First, the context. Paul, sending a letter to Philemon, Onesimus, the slave, escaped. Here's the gospel from Paul, becomes Paul's son in the gospel, and Paul sends him back to Philemon. Don't do any bad things to him. In fact, don't receive him as a slave, but instead receive him as a brother a co-worker in the faith, set him free. So, but I'm not going to command you to set him free so that the gift is not lost. But, then the day, the, today, today's text, whatever he owes you, whatever guilt he has, charge it to me. Oh, but don't forget, you owe me your very self. You owe me your very salvation. So, this is radical when it comes to American uh, Christianity, which is all about you and your relationship with God and you and your Bible. But Paul, when he speaks to Philemon, he doesn't hold, pull any punches back for Onesimus' benefit. In fact, he says, you owe me your very self. Can you think about your pastor in these terms? Probably not, but Paul would have you do that. The, uh, the guy who's up there, who's um, replaceable by Google, who is, um, you know, everybody's an expert on religion and we just pay this guy and we don't know why we pay this guy. Any monkey could do his job. That's true. Anybody could wear these robes. But the guy that the Lord sends you to preach the gospel to you, that was a fumble. I dropped the treat. He's eating the treat. Is that an epic fail? I don't know. But the guy that the Lord sent to you, is the guy that the Lord sent you for the proclamation of the gospel to put that word of God into your ears. And Paul says, you owe that guy your very life. Okay. But I thought the word did it. The word does it. I thought baptism did it. Baptism does it. I, I thought, I thought, I thought we're not to trust in man. You're not to. But the guy that delivers the baptism for God to you, the God that delivers the word from God to you, the God that delivers the Lord's Supper from God to you, deserves some respect. And if you don't believe me, blame Paul. I don't know if he dropped it or not. I don't know. But the big deal here is not that your pastor is the big deal, but that God's the big deal. And that God sent this guy to deliver the salvation to you. So, thank God for the word, preached, read, heard, that therefore, out of the mouth of your pastor, how blessed feet he has, that's Romans. He brings the good news to you. So, as you're coming out of church this Sunday, if you get to, if you don't, then cut him an email, just tell your pastor, thank you for being a good servant, and quote this verse, I owe you so much, Pastor, the salvation of my children, my grandchildren, myself. You preach the word. We don't pay you enough, or maybe I think you pay, we pay you too much, but nevertheless, 
you deserve every penny because of what you do in the gospel. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and a very hungry Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.